Get you starting. Let's go live one? Yeah. So we're live right now? Yep. Okay. Drew's gonna keep falling over. <laughs> That's strange. That was earlier today. Okay. No. Right now? Right now we're already bad. Where's the feed? Oh man, I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm confused right now. Jenny just messaged us and said, hey, what's up? But it's not showing up on there. Hey, Jenny, we are... Wait, why are you doing this? You can just go to the live feed. Like, just to our page. Why would you do it like this? Okay. Well, let me see. That's what I'm really confused about. Because we're not streaming through here. Are we? No, but this is the... That's the control center. Oh, we have three videos and five people watching. Three videos. Three viewers. Yeah, you said three videos. likes. Three likes, sorry. But I'm trying to find the chat. Oh, hey, there's the chat. It's Hi. right over there. So we're going to have to not watch this because we're behind um, on ours. What's up, homespun Greek? Yes, we are we are from New Orleans. We no longer live there, but we are from New Orleans originally. Big Saints fans, big win today. Originally, big, big win today. My boys pulled it out against the uh, New York Giants. So, oh, hey, Dana lives in New Orleans. Hi. We are totally jealous of your guys' uh, pop hunting scene because apparently it's way easier to find pops there than it is here in Orlando. We should have taken advantage of that when we lived there. Yeah, we weren't really collecting that much back no, then. No, we weren't. Dana is no Saints fan. Oh. Wait, what? You live in New Orleans and you're not a Saints fan? Uh, please do tell. I need the story behind this. She might, she might not be from there. Mm. It, it, it's a transient city. Yeah, do you live in New Orleans, but are you from somewhere else? Because that's acceptable. I will, I will. I will. St. Sundays are the best days. Oh. You're, are you just not a football fan? Do you just not like football? Because if you like football and are not a Saints fan, then I really need to know this story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, uh, you keep knocking Drew over. It's not my fault that he falls. His little cleaties are not that good. So Drew is one of the first pops that we ever got. If you he guys... was actually my first one I ever got. No, she's not a football fan. Okay, if you're not a football fan, then uh, that's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna hold that against you. Some people just aren't with him. Yeah, he was my first one. I I got him just because I am a Saints fan. That's why I got him. Yeah, no, we, I think we saw him in GameStop and we were like, oh, look, it's a little St. Drew Brees bobblehead. Like, yeah. I need that. He's not even a bobblehead. No, he's not, but he looks like a bobblehead. You know what I mean? That, like, big head style. NBA, mm. go Pelicans. I mean, that's fine, too. We need to get Anthony Davis pop. With, we, with, the, with the unibrow we going. Were, we were literally discussing this as we are, we're setting up the live stream that I need, like, the Anthony Davis with the full... Unibrow. With a full unibrow. Pop. Yes, the helmet did come with them. It's surprising because the new one doesn't come with a helmet, but the old one did. Yeah, the old one came with a helmet, and I learned by knocking it off the table that the, like, 
face mask and everything comes off. Like, you can... I don't think it's supposed to come off. It is! Look, it just clips in. It's just a clip. It's not supposed to come off. So he can go, like, old school, no... No helmet, no face mask style. You just rough the QB. Rough in the passer. Drew Brees, Cl rough in the passer. Clay Matthews over here. Um, <laughs> hey, Clay Matthews put those hands up. That was totally illegal. Uh, we, we lived on the East Bank. We lived on the East Bank, yeah. I lived on the West Bank for a little while. I actually used to live in um, Algiers Point for a small period of time. And then uh, I went to high school in Slidell. And then we lived uh, in the Lower Garden District slash Central City. Central City. And then Metairie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from a little bit of everywhere in New Orleans, basically. I mean... You know how New Orleans is, rent socks, so you basically move every single year trying to find the best deal possible. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's like, oh, where, ew, can I get $100 less in rent? Yeah, sure, I'll move. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, New Orleans is so small, so it doesn't really matter. I yeah. mean, if you live by the airport to make it to downtown, it's 15 minutes on the interstate, so it's not that big of a deal. Well, right, guys, well, we thank you guys for being here. There's 11 of y'all. We have five likes. That is... Six people you have not liked? Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, but yeah, no, we appreciate it, guys. Uh, we So we had done a live stream on... What day of the week was that? Thursday? Friday. Thursday. Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday Funko. Because you all. Because we did, we did Funko Friday. And... Um, we figured out that our live streaming equipment blows. It's not the equipment. Our internet here is terrible. I think. I actually, I think our, our uh, router and uh, uh, modem are bad. So they're coming out tomorrow to hopefully fix it. So later this week, we might do a live stream with a few friends. Yeah, we're trying to trying to build a little like Discord of. YouTube people that we really like that we care about and so that way we can try to get some like joint live streams together like some of the other bigger YouTubers have um just for us smaller channels something to help us grow something to help us you know reach you guys in a better fashion um also if you guys haven't already checked out let me check this description real quick. yeah absolutely so in the description of this video right now there are a few links for you guys there's our instagram um i also put our discord it's brand new it's just us two in there right now um we'd like you guys to come join us chat with us if you feel like it and then um also a donation link we don't expect you guys to donate but it's a part of this new software that you're using so it's there um now donations will go to giveaways guys that's not for us yeah giveaways so, to upgrade equipment do whatever but yeah no mostly giveaways yeah. we like to give away yeah so why everybody's here this giveaway the ebay box the ebay box from the other day we still haven't opened it guys still have not opened it and resisted all temptations to open it so we are at 11 right now we need nine more we get nine more people in there hey funko pops and unicorns get nine more people in here this bad boy is gonna get uh given away tonight to... and we'll probably try to ship it tomorrow yeah because we got a couple errands to run so yeah i got it i got some stuff we got to go to fye we got to pick up a carnage hopefully your boy ever messages you back? Uh, I have faith. Yeah. I have faith. If not, I'll just go to FYE and buy some more. It's, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Can't spend all my NYCC money, though. So. No, yeah, no. NYCC's coming up. Uh, if you guys didn't watch Jetta's stream earlier, they're doing a crazy thing for the month of October. They're doing giveaways every day and big grand prize for an IM Group hot toy. Yes. Um, And then... Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I love Groot. I'd like I, it. Uh, I would never pay for it in real life. If I got it for free, I'd be elated. Yeah. I, I mean, that's I just, like a $200 I, plus. I, I just can't watch the channel for that long. Yeah. I like Jetta, guys. Don't get me wrong. I like Jetta. I've been subscribed to him since it was like 2,000 of us. And now it's... Actually, I think it was even before 2,000. Actually, I think I started watching when he was still in the hundreds. 
So, I've been with him for a while. That's all I can say. Tonight was a little boring. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep everything nice. Keep your opinions to yourself. I'm going to be nice. I like Jetta. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. There's, there's perfectly nothing wrong with them. Just. Perfectly nothing Yeah. We'll but, go with that. I'm, I'm not trying to start some YouTube drama. That's not, that's not what I'm here for. I, something basic. How's it going? Something basic is still... Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? I mean, he's he's in it to win it. Six, six, six more people and you got a chance to win it. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. Like I said, <laughs> share it with your grandma, share it with your mom, get your sister to watch. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys do what you do out there in the magical world of the internet. I, I don't care if you pull up your second YouTube account on your phone or, or on your computer and watch that way. I, as long as that number hits 20, I don't care how, how we get there, guys. And smash that like button. Tyrone's got that idea. Something. I'm telling tell the mailman. All right. <laughs> Gonna go stop people in traffic. Hey guys, have you uh, just, you heard just, about just, this YouTube channel? Just open this link right here, guys. It, it'll be, it's fine. Have you have you seen my Messiah? Here, here. Hello. They're giving away free things. Watch. But yeah. Oh god, that was great. This is this is good times. Good times. So what has everybody been up to today? Today was a grocery shopping and football day in the household of the nerd crew. Well, this maybe, nerd crew worked. Maybe, yeah, I was going to say, maybe for you. I, I got to go to work. Woohoo, new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, so, yeah, no, so today was busy, busy day and football day here in, in the nerd household. The crew household. Are we the nerd household? Oh, look, the little new subscriber thing works. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just seen it. That's so cool. The Eagles did lose. They are not doing very good this year. I get to go they see... They are on the Super Bowl hangover right now. I get to go see them play the Saints in the Superdome. Maybe. I get to see them. Oh, I'm going. You're going? You're gonna, I'm going. You're going to leave me? Yes. He's leaving me to go to a Saints game. With my mother? With, with mother. my family? That's fine. Really? That's fine. You you just you just hating because you might not get to go. That's fine. I'll go to New Orleans without you next. <laughs> oh, okay. Live stream. <laughs> Live stream. Yeah, I was thinking earlier. I was like, maybe I should do like a. Nate Dog fifty four. Thanks for the subscribe, buddy. Uh, yeah, like maybe I should do like a Sunday Samantha football live stream. And not show the TV, but just watch me yelling at the television. Are you going to yell at the TV or at your fantasy lineup? Both. All of the above. She was a big loser today, guys, in fantasy. Uh, I'm not officially lost yet. 1% I am, chance? I am ahead. If his player scores no points, he has one player in. If he scores zero points or gets negative points, then I win. I can't check because my phone is what's doing live stream right now, and that's what's causing us to hopefully, fingers crossed, not buffer. So, yeah. Hi, PTA crew. Nate Dog. Alex. Something basic. Dana. Who else we got in here? Brenda. Tyrone. Oh, man. We got all kinds of people in oh, no. here. Homespun <clears throat> Geek. Ball yeah, you're up by more than one point. I am up by thirty. No, really? No, that's that's a lie. I can't do math. Uh, I am up by twelve, 12 points. points, and his player has four points right now. I have a sixty-one chance percent. Sixty-one percent chance of winning. Ugh. So everybody, I need you guys to root for Jay Corner to not corn, corner. Is that corner? Corner. Corner. The Pittsburgh running back. The backup Pittsburgh running back to get, like, no points. We are at 17 peoples, y'all. Like, that is three away from giveaway time. Oh, we just dropped to 16. Somebody somebody left us. So I'm going to go try to find a YouTube video for you guys to comment on. So that way I have a link ready. Really? No, we're gonna get help. Uh, this guy, wait. This one? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was like, this is the one we decided on. The other day. You'll find a shorter video. Uh, like, yeah. like this. No, I mean, I was going to do like one of the... Yeah, the ultra... Yeah, this one's fine. Yeah, that was good. And my sound's turned off, so I won't play anything, so that's good. Copy, 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 copy. All right, so I have... We got the link, guys. We just need now five more people. Jesus Christ, everybody bounced out on us. Why? Well, you know what? They might be bouncing out to invite people. That's okay. Right. If you're copying the link and then going to Facebook or Instagram or uh, Reddit. <laughs> Something basic. People say, no, say, 18, no, don't, no. Don't, don't go. <laughs> it's 20 almost. Mm. <laughs> I can I can take a screenshot right now and post it to Instagram of fifteen watching now on Sunday Funko Day. What's going on, Papa Lucha? I actually watched Papa Lucha last night. Really liked his channel. It was really good. Yeah, they uh, got him ner to uh, nerdy. Yeah, got him to five hundred subscribers last night. Uh, nerdy Treasures turned me on to him. I, yeah. I watched a few of his videos today. Pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Good stuff. Good he's stuff. uh he's got the lucha mask on. I like it. The lucha mask. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, yeah. it's pretty it's pretty sweet. That is awesome. We're that's, big that's WWE sweet. and like wrestling fans, so that's definitely pretty cool. That absolutely. was that was pretty cool. If if anything it was entertaining and I I kind of I laughed a lot. Just not, his content's great. It's just him himself is funny, so it, it, it's right. good. You gotta go watch him. I'll I watch him. Yeah, no, I I was I was watching you uh, with Nerdy Treasures like thing trying to shout him out last night, but I didn't get a chance to watch him today because I had so much going on. Yeah, he did a giveaway. Nice. He yeah. did a, he did a giveaway of the uh, the Spider Man for Lucha hitting uh, five hundred by midnight. Yeah, no, he, I, he, that's what I was listening yeah, to when yeah. I came home from work. He last hit five hundred like I think maybe ten minutes before midnight. So congratulations, to Papa Lucha, on your five hundred, buddy. Congrats. One one day one day we'll get there. Building slowly, getting there. We're working on it. One day one day at a time, we will make it. Yeah, guys, we've only been doing this about six to eight weeks now, so our expectations are pretty still pretty low. Uh, we just want to put out content, and you guys hopefully like it. That's that's our goal. My my goal isn't to get. You know, 20 million subscribers. As long as I got people watching me and enjoying what I'm doing, that's all I care about. Uh, Rachel, we are originally from New Orleans. We currently live in Orlando. So we moved here, God, almost three years ago? Two. Well, it's been two. It's working on three. We're getting closer to three than we are. No. Here. No, we just passed two. Yeah, we moved here in July. Yeah. Moved here in July of 2016. Oh, 19. We got one. 20. 20. Yay. 20. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to post this link. Post, 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 post. What are they going to comment? Hashtag. Uh, hashtag Nerd Crew sent me. Okay. So here's the link, kids. This is the link. This is uh to. Funko Frenzy. Waver, uh, Waver Ramon. Waver Ramon, uh, Funko Frenzy, his YouTube channel. And we want you guys to go comment on this video. Hashtag Nerd Crew sent me. Uh, yes, love Stranger Things Forever. Please hit that like button on us too. Hit the like button on his video. Do like, 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 and subscribe to his to his channel. Uh, show him some love, guys. He, yeah. he's a, he's a good guy. He's he's got some pretty cool videos as well. Uh, I actually found him through Admiral Funko. Admiral Funko, yes. Yeah, he challenged her to the same challenge we did. The Ad Icon Challenge. The Ad Icon Challenge. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked that video out, do you check that out. That was... Is that my first one on camera? No, my first one on camera was the Mystery Box. That was my second one on camera. Yeah. When we first started this channel, I thought that I would never get on camera. I thought that I would... Just, I, I'm, I'm responsible for pretty much all of the editing that you see, um, graphics, videos, all that kind of stuff. And I, so I always thought that I would just be behind the scenes and then we got a mystery box in and rule, I, rule is you bought it, you open it. Yeah. I bought so. it without him knowing. And he was like, well, if you bought it, you have to open it and you should film it. And I'm like. All right, let's try to do this. And then now here I am. Yes, Miss. Miss yes, Mr. yes, Basic. Mr. Basic. That's fine. That's fine. He, he's he's got he. Uh, he's he's ready it. to win. He's on top of it. 
All right, guys. So let's go and find the random comment random picker. Random comment picker for YouTube. Did everybody do it? Is everybody done? You, you can go check the video. Did you guys do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? I'm not gonna do all this work. Go and check it. Hashtag me, crew sent me. Your crew sent me. Your crew sent me. And look at all those comments. How fancy. Nice. Alright. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh no, Funko Pop and Unicorns. I know you got school and stuff, bro. You you on that grind. Don't don't worry about that. YouTube link over there. YouTube link over here. We're gonna go ahead and choose this bad boy. There are seventeen, 17. unique comments. Seventeen guys, there's twenty people in here. Three people don't wanna win? Right? Oh so man, we're twenty four people. You might want to reannounce it then, since now they're in the room. All right, All right guys, we're gonna give we're, we're gonna, gonna give one more chance, just because we like to be fair bees and we want everybody to have a chance to win. Here's the link again. Hashtag Nerd Crew sent me. Hashtag Nerd Crew sent me. So, Mister Something Basic is no. mad at me for giving more people a chance. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, go comment on this video. Uh, this is a newer YouTuber to the group. Um, our friend of ours, Admiral Funko, found Waver Ramon and is a big fan of him. Funko Frenzy. Um, give him some love. Do the hashtag Nerd Crew sent me. Give me, I'll give y'all, what, a minute? A minute. We'll give you a minute, guys. One more minute. And then I'm shutting it down. When my little thing hits 9.51. Oh, we going to send this internationally? I didn't think about that. It depends on what shipping is. If you're international and shipping is super freaking expensive, we might have to have a conversation about PayPal payment for some of shipping. Like, I'll cover shipping up to, like, $7. Yeah, guys, we're, we're balling on a budget over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm broke B. I just need y'all to know that. Like, I mean, I'm not a broke B. Like, I make okay. Oh, money, see, he's in like, Philadelphia. We're fine. Because Mr. Something Bass is going to win anyway, and it's just in Philly, so it's fine. Is, is that pretty much what you want me to say? Yeah, yeah, no, he's going he, <laughs> he to win it. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. What we, what we, how many unique commenters? We have 20 now, so okay. We got three more people to join. We are going to go ahead and start this thing. I'm going to get the name. Don't say it yet because I got to make sure it's one of our commenters. I don't think so. I don't think it is. I think I might have to pull again, y'all. Because I don't think this is one of our commenters. Go back to the page? This video? No. Go back to the page. Our page? No, yeah, that one. I know what it is. No. It's hard to... It says... No, that's not it. Okay, so no. We got a commenter that was not one of ours, so we're going to go ahead and... Pull this thing again. All you gotta do is pull it again, pull it again, pull it again, pull it again, pull it again. Oh, that one is. You wanna go ahead and tell it who it is? No, go ahead. So the winner of our random e eBay mystery box is going to be Papa Lucha. E York? E Rock 42. E Rock 42 Papa Lucha. Congratulations on not only winning this $15 eBay mystery box, but also getting to 500 subs last night. So if you haven't already, Papa Lucha, uh, the yeah, our link to our Instagram is in the description. Go ahead, follow us, send us a message so we can get all your information so that we can send this out to you. Um, I know you probably weren't watching us the other night, so the deal with this guy was is that we actually bought this off of eBay. It was a $15 mix mystery box. It could contain a common or a pop-up to $50. We got it in. We actually decided that we weren't going to open it, that we were going to wait a hot minute and see what happened. Uh, 
see if we wanted to do a giveaway for it. And so this is going to you. I have no idea what's in it. So good luck. Hopefully it's something cool. That's good all I can say. <laughs> yeah, man, that was... That's pretty cool. That I like that. A, that was fun. That was our first ever giveaway, guys. That, that was, was our first ever giveaway. super excitement. Guys, that is super, super cool. So, yeah. Now we're going to do more giveaways. Like, You're going to do more giveaways? <laughs> not right now. Not right now. But, like, you uh, know. I mean. Yeah, Papa Lucha, do that live unboxing. That sounds like a yeah, plan. I like that. I like that. We'll be there for that. We'll be there for that one. Yeah, you just you just know. You let us know. What? Okay, I'm going to put this out there for you guys. I know a lot of people are doing a lot of group live streams for NYCC before it happens. What would you guys think if we did a live stream on, say, Friday or Saturday night with a few people and we can all show off what we got, what we didn't get? What, what do you guys kind think about that? experience with waiting oh, yeah. in lines early and, like, everything that we went to... Like, how do you feel about, like, a post-NYCC drop live stream? Where we can tell horror stories or cool people we met or something like that. I mean, everybody nowadays, they're dropping NYCC right into the ground. Oh, this is what I want. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants the same stuff, guys. You know, everybody doesn't care about the same things. Usually, for the most part, you know. Uh... Yeah, so, and also, I have a question. So... How old is everybody that is watching this live stream oh, currently? No. <laughs> because, so we're thinking about this NYCC post thing being like a age-restricted content kind of ordeal. Because some of us YouTubers are not the cleanest mouthed people. I curse like a sailor, guys. When I edit videos... There's a lot of F-bombs that get cut out. Just... Ooh, Tonight's my night, bro. Yeah, it is your mm -hmm. night, man. Congratulations. Okay, so, yeah, we've got, we've got some, you know, we, 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 were just thinking, range. We, we were just throwing out around with uh, some other YouTubers we were talking to about maybe doing a post-NYCC, you know, hangout, show what beer we got. Beer drinking. You know, not necessarily beer drinking, but, you know, hanging out. I mean, I know a lot of people will try to wash their tongue and not drop the F-bomb or... You know what not, and you know, some people it offends. You know, and I'm sorry if it does if that does offend you. Uh, but you know, somebody over here to my right can't hold their mouth sometimes, and it just kind of slips out. Yeah, you know, I just I know that there's a lot of YouTubers that go through that very you know PG for kind everybody of everybody kind of content, and I was wondering if there was a group of people out there. Well, I mean, I, I guess if it doesn't offend anyone, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, you know, like, you know, we have some viewers in here that are younger, and that doesn't bother me. You know, I mean, I, I personally, I don't like dropping the F-bomb or cursing a whole lot, because I understand that does offend some people. But, you know, I mean, when you're in a group with friends, yeah, it's going to come out. Yeah, it you is. know. Because you're, you're not necessarily, you're just, you're shooting the shit. It's not a curse word. <laughs> they say it on television. Well, that. I don't know about that. They dropped the F bomb on uh, uh FX. On FX on uh, Mayans. Anybody watch that show? It's a pretty good show. Uh I still I got a DVR last week's episode, I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. Um Don't worry about what I'm typing. So uh I like it. But I don't like to read, so I guess the subtitles are kinda of getting me off a little bit. Yeah. Is it, I mean is that anybody else watching kinda of get that too where you, I'm not a fast reader. I'll, I'll tell you guys that right now. Uh, I'm not a fat. I'm dyslexic, so me reading things takes me a second to compute it all. So me trying to read the screen while I'm trying to watch what's going on kind of throws me off a little bit. I guess that's why I never watched Passion of the Christ. Like I watched it, but I didn't. Like I knew what was going on. I'm not, you know, dumb, but I guess just reading some of the dialogue, I was always behind. Yeah, Three Ladies in a Blog. It is similar to SOA. It is the same concept. It is so. If you are familiar with SOA, there is the Mayans club that they interact with a lot. This is based off of a character that's in that, or well, coming into that club. Like he's brand new. He's just kind of getting his start. Prospect. A prospect in that club. It's through his kind of experience. And then uh, what's his face? What's the guy? The guy. That was in SOA. Oh, the, the, leader. Leader, the leader of the Mayans group. Uh, What's his name? Why can't I think of it? You're killing me, Smalls. 
Oh, man. Uh, Hi, kitty. How's it going? I forget what his name is. Yeah. Why well, can't I think of his name? Like, I can think of so many dialogues between, like, him and Jax and, like, him and the group and... Yes, SOA was awesome. And I still am looking for my Jax Teller Funko Pop. He is actually going down in value, so maybe sometime soon I'll be able to get him. No, I can't look at my phone because my phone's a thing. What are you looking for? The guy's name. Because it's going to drive me... You know me. It's going to drive me nuts of balls until I figure out... Alvarez. Alvarez! There you go. Thanks, God. Thank God. I'm like, Alvarez. just drop it, because I didn't even have to start to look it up. Yeah, yeah. poor Juicy. I know. Poor I know. Juice. Poor clay. They, they made a Clay Funko Pop. They uh, made a, o, an Opie. And then, Gemma. And Gemma and Jax. Well, actually, they had two Jax tellers. One's a Comic-Con exclusive. With the Reaper. Yeah, with the Reaper Club uh, backwards hat on. That one's out of out of touch. I'm not going to get that one. It's $300-something. dollars. But the regular Jax teller is going for under 100 most places. I passed on him. I should have bought him. I saw him at a comic book shop for seventy. I probably should have bought him. Now he's selling for around sixty. So we'll see. Yeah. I uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen. So I showed uh, Brian this a while ago. The the girl that did the customs, yes. the SOA ones. So I don't. I wish maybe if I find the pictures and the link, I'll post it on Instagram for you guys. Um, they have somebody did a custom, and it's the whole crew. And they're all oh, on bikes, yes. and it's juice. It's it's all of them. It's it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. they. I mean, I am impressed. Like, I don't have that much artistic ability. I don't even understand how people do customs, let alone. There, there is a guy we follow him on Instagram. He does customs. I actually want to reach out to him and see if he can't do one. Who do you want? What? Who do you want? I want you. Oh, you want me? No. That's uh, that's not good. That's not a good look. Nope, nope. I don't know. Good fit in the box. Whoa! Oh, I need to lose lose a few lbs. All right, Nate. Have a good night. Go to sleep. All right, Nate. Have a good night. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, but no, you don't want a custom of me. Who do you want a custom of? I know you don't want a custom of me. Like that's we're not we're not those kind of people. Honestly, we don't do that. I, I mean, it would be probably a WDB character that's not out there yet. Like who? I don't know. Brutus the Barber Beefcake? That'd be pretty cool. You have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that the is. The Rockers? The Rockers? Uh, no. Oh, I'm dude, a two set of the Rockers? That'd be awesome. Um, they already made a Bailey Pop, so I don't need that. How about a Ronda Rousey? A, a, a new one. They'll make those soon enough. I don't I don't need to pay yeah, somebody sure. to do a custom. Sure. Jimmy Hart? Jimmy Hart? Yeah, Jimmy Hart with the megaphone? That'd be pretty sweet. I'll take an anvil. Uh, I will take it in memory. They, 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 they've got they, no. They, they've got a. They, they got to. They got to make a Natalia one. I will do a Natty in his jacket. You just want to get that so she can sign it because she lives here. I mean, they all live here. Most right? of them. I mean, ninety-five percent of them live here. Uh. So. Uh, all right, Frank. You take it easy. Uh. So, who would you guys have made as a custom, or who do you really want to see made? But like. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it could be anybody. Beyond, beyond, like who would you want? Duke the Dumpster Brody. Yes. Anybody, like any character that hasn't been made that you would like. You know what? I might pay above retail to have somebody make this one pop for me. Like, I mean, they already made the Kenny Omega. Yeah, like so who that, is that somebody that you would be like? Oh, I wish somebody could Papalucha. create this for me. <laughs> I'll take one. <laughs> uh, they do have, well, more just, musicians, yeah. yeah. I actually just, uh, I messaged Shumi tonight, uh, if he would uh, put together the Metallica set with the new one that's coming out, if I could just buy the whole set like that, and, uh, you know, he can work out a price for me, he said, sure, no problem, he'll get back to me, so. I would absolutely do the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty, and then I want a chase version where they're all in the other color dresses from when they start shooting at each other. Like, oh, a hovering DeLorean, that'd be pretty pretty sweet. They have the DeLorean, they do, they have the DeLorean. But, like, it hovering? Uh, yeah, I guess you could make it hovering. Yeah. You don't want the Spice Girls? I do want the Spice Girls. I want all of the Spice Girls. Every single one of them. I want 
Oh, my man, the DX Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Why don't you just do all DX then? If you're going to do that, you can do a five pack. Put China in there too. That'd be pretty cool. You think they'd do China though? You think? They, well, I mean, if we're doing custom, it doesn't matter what they would do. No, do these think, are just these are just ones I wish they made. Yeah, but do you think that the WWE would ever? You know, no. What they need to do, they need to make a three pack with Mick Foley, do Cactus Jack, do Love and Mankind, all the right. Ones. That'd be back. fantastic. That'd be pretty sweet. That is actually pretty cool because it's all the same person. But it's, it's all the same person. Characters, right? right. I, I think that'd be pretty sweet. I'd that'd buy be, it. That'd be pretty cool. I would. I would. I'd be about that. Magic school bus ride. Yeah, the, ma I, the that, magic that, school bus itself. I don't know what that is. You don't know what the magic school bus is? The crazy lady with the red curly hair and the crazy outfits. I was reading Rainbow. I was reading Rainbow too. That doesn't mean I wasn't freaking. I don't see, there was there that F bomb almost came out. I, I magic what, school bus. What, I don't know what that is. What is that? Tell it's me. like a children's show. When did but it come out? Probably more towards when I was a kid. Oh yeah, you guys didn't know Brian's old. I'm eight years older than my wife, so we things when we we're children are a little different. Yeah, we're a little uh, off center with that sometimes. What did Disfunko put up? Anything interesting? I don't know. You don't want to give breaking news right here on the live scene? Ooh, Lady Gaga. Can I get her in the strap we, dress? We actually did have breaking news earlier. The strap dress. I forgot what it was. Oh, a WWE moment pop with Stone Cold on top of the beer truck. Okay. I could do that. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Or even just him giving uh, McMahon the stunner. Oh yes, that'd be a that'd, that'd be, be a good awesome. one. That'd be like awesome. The... Yeah, with the yeah, giving them the star, that'd be pretty sweet. I want, I want, I want a pop of Randy Orton in mid RKO form, just so I can put it on top of other things. <laughs> so the RKO so, out of nowhere. So you just like RKO every single one of your pops. Yes. You just be like RKO out of nowhere. Yes. Okay. Angle with the cowboy hat on. <laughs> Oh yes, the little cowboy hat. See, we got we got a lot of WWE guys in here. I like this. I like yeah, this. Absolutely. Uh, considering that's more than half my collection behind me. Um, what what breaking news did we get tonight? Oh, Jenna said something, and it was actually pretty good news. I totally forgot what it was. I don't know. I forget. Way to go. Way to not read. Oh, the Funko Shop tomorrow. No, yeah, Funko Shop is dropping something tomorrow. They put it up on Instagram, Twitter, it's all that kind of stuff. It's 11 o'clock their time. So 2 p.m. Eastern Standard yeah, Time. Yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 p.m. No, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Movie moment, guys, from Armageddon riding the missile. Yeah. Oh, I, I would like that. The Eddie Guerrero lowrider pop. I like that. The I RKO out of nowhere. Indeed. All right, from Armageddon riding the missile. <laughs> okay, that'd be that that'd be kind of interesting. I just I don't know. Um, we already got past twenty. We already got past twenty, and we we already gave that away. We already gave it away. Papa Lucha won it. Papa Lucha won tonight, and all these lovely people are still just hanging out with us, just to hang out with us, which is amazing. Yep. Which is like, yeah. Usually, when people win stuff, everybody leaves. <laughs> Like, this is but, you know, I mean, pretty much the coolest thing ever. I mean, really, I mean, we haven't got any new pops since Friday, so really we just want to get on here, do the giveaway, and just kind of hang out. You guys got any questions, any kind of pops you want to see that I've got? I'd definitely pull them down. Anything you guys want to talk about, we're here. Questions, answers. I mean, questions. You ask questions, we answer. Yeah, that, there it is. Um. <laughs> yeah, questions, answers, answers, questions. So We don't have any kind of family yet. Yeah, I mean, honestly, for Brian and I, we don't really have any family here in Orlando. Nope, um, just us, just, just us and our just us and our dogs. Yeah, so we uh, we picked up, we moved from New Orleans. We just decided that we were ready to experience something new and go somewhere else, and <clears throat> kind of left. And we've been here for like the two years, and just kind of been the two of us trying to build a small little tiny group of friends and. Get to know people, and pops have really become a good way to get to know some really cool people. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the Iron Man pop from Walgreens. I like the box. I like the box. I'd like more if I had it in my collection. <laughs> I would definitely like it more if I had it in my collection. 
Uh, I think we went to, I think a total of nine Walgreens here in Orlando and none of them have them. Uh, either A, someone bought them all, which I don't think that's true because I, I haven't seen them anywhere. They don't have the, they don't have any new pops. The, I think we saw that one spider pig thing in the box that got ran over. That was the only new one they had in the entire store. So I don't think they've hit here yet. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen somebody in one of the Facebook groups that we follow. In Tampa. In Tampa they did. And I've seen somebody in Orlando say they got one, but I don't, I don't really know. Orlando's so big that that could be out on the other side of town. I don't know. I don't know why her message got retracted. Uh, Funko Pops Unicorns, you, uh, you cursing out there or something? <laughs> I like her moderator. Yeah, that's fine. She's yeah. good. Yeah, she good. she's I, good. I, I trust that one. Yeah, I trust her. Um, she... Funko Pops Unicorns, she's not, she's not even in the U.S., I don't think. Are you? Yeah, she is. You sure? I could have sworn... No, that was another, somebody else. No, she went to a Comic-Con somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, I forgot. Somewhere. No, that was... Uh, that was another one of the uh, ones that um, Funko Preacher told me to watch, and she lived in Australia, I believe. Mm. That's why I'm sorry, Funko Preacher. I, I get I get everybody confused. Yeah. Uh, and unless you're Papa Lucha, that there's no way of confusing that guy. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I feel like so like I feel like over the last even the last week or so, she's in Arkansas. So oh okay. I feel like in the last week or so. I've been doing more and more research and following more people on Instagram and watching more YouTube channels, and I'm like, oh, I, geez. I, like, I mean, I knew there was a lot of us out there, but... The, the community's big, and I told you it was Holy big. poop. The, the like, this is huge. crazy. Like, it's insane. Ooh, Charlie's Angels pops. That'd be a good one. Charlie's Angels? Oh, yeah. As long as you have almost like uh, the pack with the speaker. With the speaker. It has yeah, yeah, the speaker. It's got to have so the speaker. a tiny speaker. Yeah. Hello, angels. And, and maybe even make hello, it say Charlie. hello. No, no, Ooh, make you it could say. do a talking it, one. Yeah. Like a they, light they, up they Iron do, Man? Yeah, they're doing the light up, so why not just have one that says, hello, angels? Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet, right? Would it be, now, would it be like Drew Barrymore? I don't care. Cameron Diaz? I, yeah. What's her face? I don't know what's going on. I think Funko Pops and Unicorns is going cray cray. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no, the Walgreens stuff is terrible. We talked about this last time. I posted it on Instagram. We found a box that literally it looks like somebody took the box cutter to the front of the box. Like, I I can't even, like, on the crease, like, on the corner, like, somebody took it and slashed it. It is, they're the worst. They are the absolute worst with exclusives, and they are getting so many coming off. <laughs> She's like, oh, she, can, she can't type. It's okay. I can't type either. Don't, don't feel bad at all. Three ladies in a vlog. Where are you? Are you are you somewhere not in the U.S.? Walgreens. I yeah, I'm like, are you somewhere not in the U.S.? Carousel of Progress. Do you remember when we rode that at Disney World? Cool. <laughs> okay. I, I rode it when I was younger. I'd say probably when I was a kid when I came here. And it was so cool back then. And then we rode it last year. And I'm just like... Somebody actually died in that ride, by the way. Somebody died in there? Yeah. It took so long that like they had a heart attack. And by the time <laughs> no. they got around, they died? No. no, no. Don't ask. Guys, I'm not morbid. I just came across a video that said that someone... like It was an actual worker. They're... Uh, clothes or whatever got caught in the carousel while they were leaning up against the wall and it drug them and strangled them and they died. Jesus H. Well, somebody died in the MIB ride at... Oh, the same day we were there. At Universal. One of the... In my, my high score killed them. Um, no, I'm just joking. But yeah, that same day, yeah, you're right. That same day we rode that ride and there was somebody up in the rafters that had, uh, passed one of the away. workers had, had uh, passed had, away. Had a heart attack while he was doing at the, yeah, at, at, in Disneyland. He said the... Oh, it was in Disneyland? Parasol Adventures oh, okay. in Disneyland. We watch a lot of, like, stuff on the parks. Um, a Forrest Gump one would be cool, but I want to see a Forrest Gump when he went from coast to coast with the long beard and... The running the, shoes? The running shoes and everything. Like, that'd be pretty sweet. Of course, then again, him wearing an Alabama football jersey wouldn't bother me any. Ah, just saying. Boo. 
The same. Yeah. Oh, you had to watch the same scene three times in the Carousel of Progress? I would die. I would die. I'd give mm. up. I would give up. I mean, I, I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. Because at least they progressed it, because now it was a little bit more modern-ish. Yeah. I mean, the puppy's cute. That's dead. The part with the dog. Sure. The dog that okay. comes up along with all of them. But, I mean, it just takes so long. It's like 20 minutes. Okay, but think about it. If, if it's the middle of the day and it's 105 degrees Oh, man, out, if it's hot. It's you 105 degrees out. It, it, it's 20 minutes inside the AC. I'm not complaining. Can I bring a beer inside? <laughs> 20 minutes? Drink a beer? Hang out? You know? That'd be fine. That'd be that'd be good. Good stuff. Oh, but it's Disney World. They don't serve alcohol. Never mind. Just kidding. Kitty says, uh, my husband says one of him mooning the president. Whatever floats your boat. You know? <laughs> the carousel of AC. I would, I would yes. ride that ride all day, every day. I mean, that, that's why, like, when we're at Universal, everybody goes and rides... Uh, the wa- the, They go and ride the water rides at, like, 1 o'clock, because they, they're probably going to melt. And that's why you ride E.T., because E.T.'s all inside and cool, and... Plus, it's E.T. It's so cute. I want an E.T. Mm. pop. Is there an E.T. pop? You know? Is there an E.T. pop? <laughs> Kind of looks like that one we don't like, though. What one? Remember the guy that the with the bag? What what's the his name? Chase thing? The chase we found that was like four. Yeah, the chase with the bag. The stupid chase with the bag. What was he called? What was his name? There are ET pops apparently. Huh. Man, are they expensive? Probably. You have a phone. I don't have a phone. I can't look these things up. I don't think they have ET pops. Really? Man, now I need an ET. I think they do. They, everybody's saying they do. These people on the internet are telling you that there is an E.T. pop. Why don't you listen to them? Brian's not a good listener. Oh, look. He's 32 bucks. He's not that bad. Can I get her in a two-bag signer? I actually Shiner? think that I've seen a Gertie I, at I, Universal back yeah. in the day, and I didn't know what pops were. Yeah, just like, okay, guys, I want to know what... What pop did you guys pass up that now you look back and you're like, oh, you know, I wasn't collecting back then, but now that I look back on it, I probably should have got that. I actually passed on a Superman chase in the Walgreens. Yeah, it's between the Walgreens. I saw it in the checkout line and I was like, the bank's making Funko Pops? Because Chase, Chase Bank, I, I just didn't compute with me. This was five, six years ago, I'd say. So now that I passed up one, I think it's worth like 200 bucks. Yeah. Uh, damn it. Raffle Pops, we are not going to NYCC this year, but we have a very real plan to go to NYCC next year. Um, so as far as I know, hopefully... The idea for NYCC next year is that we are going to do a road trip up the East Coast. And, and pop on our way up there. Pop on our way up there. And then when we get to South Carolina, we will hopefully pick up Admiral Funko. And then she will join us for the rest of our endeavors. And we will all have a good old NYCC road time. Trip. Fun road trip. Lots of live stream. Lots of shenanigans. And, of course, we'll live stream as much as we possibly can just to annoy people. Right. <laughs> all the time, all day, every day on your Instagram, on your YouTubes, on your Facebooks. So that is something that we will... Um, I'm actually looking into getting a vinyl cutter right now so that I can make some t-shirts. Uh, I want to do t-shirts as something... These these Nerd Crew t-shirts that I, I designed this logo myself is... is. Uh, I want to do these, like, if you donate, maybe, like, 25 or $30, dollars we'll give you a t-shirt, um, and use that donation money to go towards, hopefully, trying to fund our NYCC pop hunt, and then if you donate extras, we will pop hunt for you. Maybe not at the con itself, but... Well, no, maybe, but, maybe at the con. Maybe we'll the, at the I mean, con itself, but... I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll, that's a year away, so... It's a long time to plan, but we got some stuff going on. 
Ooh, the original SpongeBob set. That's expensive. Oh, do you have any of the? Good? No, we don't. We we didn't we didn't live in Orlando when those came out. Actually, I think we did. I think we just moved here when those uh, when the Haunted Mansion ones came out like and two years ago. And we didn't really know anything about Pops, and no. we didn't know nothing about nothing, and we're done. The first park exclusive we got was... Figment. 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 He's over here. Oh, no. Where's our Disney collection? Uh, as we both stand up. Whoa. Nope. So, yeah, this was the first... Uh, oh. Disney Park. Disney Park exclusive that we ever got. We got Figment from the 35th anniversary of Epcot. Um, he's super cute. I really like him. We actually did not make it on the day that they released these because they think it was on a weekend. Yep. And we were we we're blacked out. So we have um, very special passes as Florida residents that allow us to go on Monday through Friday during non-peak times, which is basically most of the summer and Christmas. Um, for 200 bucks a year. For $200 a year. Like, literally, it's next to nothing. It's 20 bucks a month. It's crazy. And um, we were actually blacked out, but luckily his cousin was in town from New Orleans and was like, oh, we're going to go to the 35th anniversary of Epcot, like, blah, 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 blah. And we're like, oh, my God, there's something there. You have to pick it up. And then come to find out they were restocked in Pintraders forever, but... Well, not only that, but they like Figment anyway, so... They got one for themselves and... Yep. One for us. And then somebody asked us if we had this guy. I still want to get a Jolly Roger. I still need to find one at a reasonable price. So, we did get this guy, thankfully. Um... This guy we got, we actually missed out on Splash Mountain. No, we just didn't want it. Uh, I mean, I want it. I do want it. But I, we thought that we could go a couple days later. And we absolutely could not go a couple days later. Because they were all gone. No, 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 no. No, I know what it was. We went for payday. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting to get paid because... Balling on a budget. No, no, that $40 for one single pop is a little high. Yeah, absolutely. Funko Pops and Unicorns, if there's a Disney exclusive uh, park pop that comes out that you need or you know about in advance, let us know and I will get it and mail it to you, which is what I did for Emma Funko. Funko. And then we also have the Gold Collector from. Yeah, we got Gold Collector. He's probably somewhere right with behind the marble. you. Right behind your head. You might not. Okay. We'll be careful. Be careful. Those, those are some pretty expensive pops. I had of them. <laughs> and then this is the third and final. That's all. That's, that's our three. That's our three Disney. Oh my God! So many of our pops still have thingies. You didn't take all the stuff off. Um. Probably not. As you can tell. Yeah. So I'm thinking about possibly next time that there's a Disney. Park exclusive taking like pre orders or like you know, because I mean, like I said, falling on budget over here. I don't necessarily have money to front for pops, and I'm not a flipper. But like, if people wanted to pay me pop price plus shipping, oh yeah, we're more than happy to do that. Guys. I will we're go pick that up out. for you, you know. I'm not, I'm not gonna charge you guys 70, 80, 90, yeah, bucks no, for it. like just pay me back for plus the shipping, yeah, no, I'm thinking about. For like you know, or people that follow us on Instagram, because I mean I'm gonna be there anyways. They let and you buy up to five or ten or. This 15. last time they let you buy 10, ten, and then Disneyland actually moved it to five after Disney World had a problem with such ten. So it's like maybe I'll take pre-orders for five. So yeah, there you and go. Then... The gold collector from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Actually, I think this guy is still available at Pin Traders. If anybody really wants one, needs yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, they were still in there when I was going to. Uh, they are. Those in the Tiki Room. Yeah, these are. In, yeah, the, the, and the Tiki Room pops. These, I believe, this one right here was nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine, right there, still in the box. Uh, the Tiki Room was like what thirty nine. Yeah, and then, yeah. So, like I said, I mean, I'm I'm totally up for that, guys. If you, whenever the next Disney exclusive park pop comes out, 
I'll post something on Instagram and get with everybody um, about, you know, possibly picking up stuff for you guys. Just PayPal me the money in advance, and that way I can go pick up everything for everybody. That I mean, that doesn't bother me. Like I said, I'll be there anyway for us. So I might as well try to help as many people as I can while I'm there. Yes, Jenny. I need I need more Stitch in my life. You only have one. I have one. Oh, there's another one I passed up on. The Elvis Stitch. Yep, the Elvis Stitch. I saw him at Hot Topic. And I was like, oh, cute. Stitch. Eh. I'll get him next time. No. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I've said, oh, I'll get that one next time. There is no next time. I just... Uh. So, Raffle Pops, what inspired our logo is, um, we are from New Orleans originally. Uh, it's... The Florida Lee. The Florida Lee from New Orleans, which is, you know, the symbol. Stop moving the table. I'm sorry. The symbol of the city, it's, you know, the football team, everything that is New Orleans. Yeah, and there goes the camera. Uh... So it's everything that's kind of New Orleans based. So in New Orleans, uh, when you have a Mardi Gras group that parades, it is called a crew, crew, which is spelled with a K. Um, so which is why we named our group Nerd Crew. Yeah, you, you knew that was going to happen. You vaped right into the camera frame. It happens. Uh, so, yeah. I, I decided that I wanted to do something with a, with a Fleur de Lis, because that represents, you know, where we come from and things that we really love. Because I do love New Orleans. I miss it a lot. I miss the food. I miss the people. I miss the music. I, I miss, miss the, a lot of things. I miss the spontaneous of it all. Right. Like when uh, Foo Fighters were there. They just threw an impromptu concert right then and there. Yeah, absolutely. That was that was pretty sweet. Yeah, no, it's just, you know. Uh, <laughs> freezing all your fantasy football teams. You should. He's a monster. Cause they're, or or what, Alvin Kamara. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the thing? What are the only things that are guaranteed in life? Uh, Drew Brees throwing for 300 yards and death, taxes. Death, taxes, and, and Drew Brees throwing, throwing for 300, 300 yards. yards. Those are the only things that are guaranteed in life. Um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's, that's what inspired the logo, you know? The 626 robot. Robert, oh. Robert? 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 Oh, Robert. Oh, Robert. Oh, Robert. His dad. The 626, okay. Oh, yeah, the, the, I think he said he just got the box lunch stitch, and I think he's talking about the one in the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that one. I like that one. That we, or, or the one in the little jet thing that I really want to oh, get. Oh, the, the car? Yes. When we get, when It's we, on sale right now. Is it? It's discounted. How much? It was twenty six dollars before. How I much think it's it like fourteen dollars. If it's fourteen dollars, I'm buying it tonight. I just remember, I sent that one to you a year ago and said I need that. Yeah. Okay. And that was when I didn't even seriously collect yet. I just love Stitch. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that is the ride one, I believe. Yes, the that red, is the ride. The red one. car. Yeah, in the red car and the red jet. It's a jet. Yeah, whatever. Spaceship. Spaceship. That's what you know how long it's been since I've watched those movies? I need to watch those movies again. Lilo and Stitch? Yeah. Mm. I don't watch those movies since I, a long I, time. Oh, man. I watched them with my nephews when they were growing up. I watched them until probably I could almost recite them at one point. Let me see if I can find that Stitch ride. If I can find the link, I'll post it for you guys real fast. So. Somebody has put something in the chat. Yeah, that's what they were asking. It was where, where was it at? So. I'm trying to find it. Um, other than that, what's going on? just search Stitch, but... Where, where do I search? Activate later? Ah. There it is. Funko Pop Ride Exclusive. It is on sale for $18. $18. I will pop, copy and paste you guys the link. Paste. There you go. He's on sale right now for eighteen bucks. Yep, he is on sale. He was originally twenty eight ninety. Yeah, that's a little high. Yeah, he's in the little red one. Little rocket ship car looking thing. Yeah. Super cute. So yeah, there is Stitch. I, Raffle Pops, if you need... Um, Alright, Brenda, have a good night. Good night, Brenda. If, uh, Raffle Pops, if you need any help uh, making a logo, 
I really enjoy it. It's kind of a hobby, I guess I would say, of mine. Uh, I'm no by no means a professional graphics designer, um, but I can help you come up with something if you have kind of an idea of what you're looking for. So again, uh, the link to our Instagram is in the description. Just go ahead and send us a direct message on there. Or we are on Discord. I forgot the Discord link is in there as well. So you can join our Discord and both of us are in there separately and you can message me there. She's actually pretty good at it. She did a lot of, uh, she used to do LuLaRoe. So she did a lot of uh, LuLaRoe people's logos and like their business cards and stuff for them. Because um, she likes messing around with stuff like that. For me, I might be able to help a little bit in design, but I'm not very good at it. So yeah, yeah I used to sell. Like I said, you said I used to sell little row clothes online, and then after I got out of that, I actually just started making logos for other women that were doing it, and it just kind of became a passion and kind of became a thing. So I enjoy doing it. Looked into going to school for it. Maybe one day when I can, you know, make time, do whatever. I got a few on my shoulder. Tell me about to pass it. <laughs> Is he going to win the Super Bowl? I don't know. If they make it there, we're going to New Orleans. Right? Everybody's like, oh, I'm going to go wherever the suit. No, I'm not, I'm not going to the Super Bowl. I'm going to New Orleans. I'm going to New Orleans to watch the uh, the, the antics ensue. Because last time it was absolutely insane. We don't. We didn't burn anything. We got really drunk. Oh, and partied. For, oh, except for it's in Atlanta this time, so that means we can oh, go burn the yeah, city. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. Burn the city, the ground. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't like... Well, I really want to go check out the new stadium in Atlanta, because I think it's going to look really cool. Um, maybe we'll go there when Alabama plays there later this year. No? Yeah. For the SEC, uh, you know, championship game, because you know that's going to happen. Hmm, yeah. Against somebody. Probably Georgia. Yeah. Again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you leave my city alone. Hi, Atlanta. Nah, Robert, I, I actually really liked Atlanta last time I was there. I uh, ate a ghost chili, uh, what, what, a, a ghost, uh, ghost pepper hamburger and almost died at uh, at the Vortex. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I've never been to Atlanta. I have nothing against it other than the fact that that's our big football rivals and, you know. If there was ever a city that New Orleans should not go to the Super Bowl in, it would probably be that one. Oh, Lady Funko. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Lady Funko. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. This is Vortex is awesome. Vortex is awesome. They probably have the best burger in town. I liked it there. Next time I go, I'm not going to get a, uh, a ghost chili burger. No. Yeah, no, don't do that. No more good. I did it on a life. bet, okay? And, like, I came out ahead on the bet-ish, so it's fine. Yeah. Absolutely. Good for you. Never again. Remember that time that we were, like, oh, on man. the quarter and we went in this <laughs> shop and they had, like, ghost chili it was, hot sauce? And it was we're, like, ghost chili extract hot sauce. And we're like, oh, we're just going to put, like, a drop of it on this cracker and eat it. And then, like, at first we we're both like, yeah, we're fine. And then, like, what, two minutes later we're both like... I want to die. No, you said that. I said, no, oh, it's a little hot. No, you were miserable. No, no, no. I put a whole lot more than one drop. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I Here did. you go. I did. I put it's, a lot more than one drop. It's very, very... Oh, uh, Mr. Macho Man. Macho Man. you have any water left? Because I'm, I'm, I'm out, bro. This ain't water. This is vodka. Oh, well, in that case, pass that be over. No, I'm joking. That, that vodka down is probably really nasty. <sighs> <laughs> uh yeah what the? no so but yeah that's I don't know I'm out of anything else guys cause uh it's, it's wow we've been on about an hour now Christina Payne thinks that she might be blocked I don't think so I've never blocked anybody I don't even know how to block anybody not Christina Payne right Christina Payne's been in here yeah, we had our one other time. I'm like, I don't even know how to tell. How, how, do, how, do, how do you block someone? Do you people know how to tell if I've ever blocked anybody? Because I don't know how. I'm a YouTube nerd. Uh, noob, 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 noob. Noob. Not nerd. Noob. My thingy. My channel. 
I haven't blocked anybody. Yeah, I don't think I've ever... What I block people? How do you block people? I'm like, I don't know. Why do you, why do, you do that? Thumbs out. Um, that's my channel. Maybe. Oh my god, do you see that number? What? Oh. Do you see that number? Is that subscribe? Yeah, that's subscribers. Man, we gotta start thinking about our 100 giveaway. Yeah, we're at 69 subscribers, guys. That is Appreciate it, super guys. sweet. Go back. I think she said something about how to look. Uh, I'm trying to comment and tell her to through. refresh. Refresh, refresh. Christina Payne, refresh. See if you can comment because I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm like looking at all my stuff and I'm like trying to see if I can find like a place where. No restricted mode off. No, that's not it. That's not history it. help. Privacy, maybe? My channel. How many times are you going to go to that? I don't know. A thousand. Fourteen million times. What about customized channel? Customized channel? I don't know. Yeah, Christina we're Payne, uh, we, we, we Christina didn't block Payne. you, I promise. We didn't block you. I promise I don't block anyone. Now, wait. If she can't comment, maybe Funko Pops and Unicorns put her in timeout? On accident? Maybe. Because oh. she, she's moderating right now, so. Yeah, she's a moderator. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. Go back to our, our page. Yeah. yeah. Please go back to that. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to go back to the chat. But, yeah, no, I think that that might be. No, Christina Payne, trust me, I'm, I'm not trying to block you or not let you write comments. Trust me. We'll try to figure that out for later. Somebody is this is the ambulance? The um, ambulance. No, you can only time out if they were in here already. Uh, I don't oh, she can't. Oh, she can't get in. I don't know. Ambulance. Fix I it. No, I have no idea. Christina Payne, I'm sorry. If you see this later. Oh, no, she's in. All right, she's in. Did she comment? Yeah, she did. Successful. We figured it out. I think she figured it out. Well, she just refreshed it. Refreshed it. It worked. Thank, thank, thank God. We we thought that maybe I had accidentally blocked somebody, but I did not, Emma. And they apparently needed you to save the day because apparently you you are the YouTube guru, as far as I know. That's what I, at least that's what I my understanding of the situation. The the uh, Funko community YouTube mess. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a guy. I only listened about half of what you just said. You never listen <laughs> to anything <laughs> that I say. Does anybody else have a significant other that never listens to anything that they say? Because I hear this is food's ready. Life. I hear it's time to get up. I hear, let's go. I hear this 100% of the time. You hear, here's your money for Pops. Yes, I do I do hear that one. I do hear, here's your allowance for Pops this week. Here, take your, transfer your money out into your bank account for Pops. Yeah, I have a separate account just for Funko Pops every week. There's a sep there is an, a lot of amount of funds that I can spend on Funko Pops, so I don't spend the rent on Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lady Funko, my significant other is my well of pups. I'm yeah. actually, I'm actually really happy that I know two months ago she wasn't so much into it, but I think ever since we started really like collecting and watching a little bit of YouTube and getting into the community and really going out there like waiting in lines and really chatting with a lot of people. I think she's warmed up to the fact of the Funko Pop deals now. Now that you you know on a YouTube channel and everything else, yeah, you're not gonna call them stupid little toys. I did call them stupid little toys at one point in time, guys. I will let that be well known, since he's gonna bring it up for the rest of my life. I forget what we were arguing about. I have no idea. I think it was the fact that I was getting up really early. 
and like wearing myself down, I guess. Oh maybe. yeah, you weren't sleeping at night because no. you were so stressed about having no. to wake up early to I, go get. No, no, I was excited. Pops. I was excited. And. No, no, it was it was when the. Twinkie the kid chases. Yeah, that guy. I I woke up early. I'd say five nights in one week at like four in the morning. To go out and and get them, basically. And you get cranky with me in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Come, come the afternoon, I wasn't the great. I was kind of crabby because I didn't sleep very well. So that's you know. Mar Robert, my wife is starting to come around. She doesn't get my Marvel Legends or anything else, but Pop, she's coming around. On. I mean, they're so cute. Like, oh God, Raffle Pops. We are definitely going to Target Con. Target Con, uh, we actually are really lucky. In one parking lot, there is a Think Geek, a uh, Barnes and Noble, and a Target. And actually, I think right across the no, that's it. In one parking lot, those those three stores. We're gonna probably camp at the Barnes and Noble on Thursday morning. They still release Thursday morning. We get the Game of Thrones pops and the Hermione Granger. And then the following day, I think we might hit Think Geek and Target. So. Yeah. I mean, going to NYCC is a good reason to not do Target Con. Though M's dad, like, absolutely. That's a legit reason. And no home spun, spun geek, you are not the only one. This is this is our life. This is this is the madness that is pop hunting and pop having and pop doing when you are a working class family that you know is trying to ball on a budget and yeah i want to know the guy people that took out vacation time to go to shop to hunt for nycc uh i, I was lucky to hunt. i'm off uh on thursdays and fridays anyway so i was kind of lucky for that one I, I i really think they did a disservice to people that took that thursday off maybe they just took thursday off Right. And now they can't do it on Friday, which I really feel bad for. I think for me, Target Con's not going to be that huge because here we have 20 targets. And I know that with Pop Finder, I'll be able to find them, you know, if I might not get them that day. Right. Some of the other ones, you know, they're not NYCC exclusive, so I'll be able to find them other days. And I'm not really that concerned um, about those. I know everybody's making a big deal about the Dino Ultra Zor. I understand, but guys... Here in Orlando, I can find every single one of my 10 inches except for the Thanos up there on on Target shelves right now. I can find Dobbies. I can find the T-Rex. I can even find a whole bunch of the Hulks right now. Uh, so the Target ones I'm not really that concerned about because I know I'll be able to find them later. And if you guys are having problems finding them, let me know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. I'm, I'm always here to help, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to try to flip stuff on you. Just let me know what you're looking for, and we'll work something out. So, Absolutely. You always take off the day you need and the day after because you always need a recovery day or a backup plan day. Absolutely. I always agree with that. I always agree with that. My thing was, is like, when um, I... Funko Pop's got midterms on the 4th. No midterms. I need Venomize Loki. I need Venomize Loki, and I need to go pick up my Carnage at FYE tomorrow. And then I need to find that, that stupid Ghost Rider Venom that I'll never find that I'll independent buy second market for because Walmart here doesn't carry pops. Yeah, I think that on Friday we actually might end up having to separate the two of us. And we might end up having to do two separate areas. One person do or either both do a Target or both. Well, here's the thing. So in Orlando, they're super crazy about the one exclusive oh, yeah. per person and they're not talking one exclusive per each kind like one loki one or resort no they mean like one so either you have to choose all loki if it has or a target or... sticker on you can only get one they're That's super it. crazy about that on release day so i don't know if we go together or if we'd even be able to get the loki and the ultra sword that we need so we are probably gonna have to separate and go to two separate targets for that like I said, I'm not worried about those right now. Like, honestly, on Friday, if I don't, if I don't get the Dino Ultra Zord or the Loki, I'm okay with that because I know I'll be able to get them later. All I gotta do is just go and pop Finder and go there at 8 o'clock in the morning and it'll be fine. Not as long as they restock. They will restock. They will restock. 
I mean, come on. We, we can go out there and find the 10 inch Hulk right now. Yeah. That we didn't think we were going to be able to find. They restocked him. And actually, I think he's only 20 bucks right now. Right. If even that much. So. Christina Payne, our Walmart doesn't even really carry pops anymore. It is abysmal how. They, they have some Star Wars pops from, I think, two years ago. And they're out in the home and garden section. And they are. My anger level with the whole Walmart situation is through the roof. I'm like, I need a venomized Ghost Rider. Like, now. And that's probably... The second it. market is going for like 35 to 40 bucks. And I'm not going to pay $40 for them. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't... It's, it's tough. I it's, mean, I, I have all the rest of them right here. All the rest of my Ghost... All, all the rest of my Venom Pops right here. And I'm going to get the other... The new Anti-Venom that's coming out. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I, I've heard the rumors that Walmart is going to get a selection of pops similar to Target and Electronics. I know that they had a whole special display set up for the Venomized sets with the $8 like movie ticket thing for the new yeah, movie yeah, yeah. and all that. Um, as of right now, I'll believe it when I see it. I thought you did see two of them. Oh, well, I did, but they weren't in the they weren't in the electronic section. They were like right out front of the registers where they keep all those movie racks. You know what I mean? In that like center uh, aisle. Okay. I did see some of the ones with those. I like I said, I would like to see them do the same thing, kind of that Target does with the whole like section in electronics on the wall. Yeah, that'd be cool, especially yeah. since they're cheaper than everywhere else, which is pretty awesome. Well, no, Target's eight ninety nine. Like I said. But, I mean, like I said, they're in that price range. I'd like to see them get more into it. Um, I'd like to see Walgreens start to get more into it. The fact that they're getting so many exclusives and take better care of their pops. I know they have new displays being set up for these new Marvel ones that are coming. They well, have, like, well, you risers see, and everything. Well, that see, that, that's them, that's the problem with living here, though, is that people here are so nuts about Funko Pops that they have to keep them on the lock and key, and you have to ask the manager about them. You have to here, guys. If you're at Target or Walgreens or whatever, they keep them in the back. They don't even put them on the shelves here. You have to actually ask the manager, hey, do you have such and such? They go in the back and get it and bring it to you. Because people here, they'll just steal the whole display. They're that crazy. Kitty was asking if we had ad icons. Kitty, do you have... Oh, Kitty, we, we do have some ad icons. Go ahead and you talk about these for like two minutes. Can you do that? Can you handle that? Oh, ad icons. What? Yeah, Honey Smacks, Bazooka Joe. I'll be right back. I got the Noid. I've got Sugar Bear. I got both of the the Twinkie Pops, the regular, the Chase. Got a bunch of them. I got Captain Crunch. Got the 20th anniversary big boy. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Crunchberry Beast. Got him. And last but not least, I have a Flock Jeffrey. Those are all my ad icons. And I do have the, the King Ding Dong coming this week from last week's Funko Shop. So yeah, that's all my ad icons I have right now. Like I said, I do have one in the mail from last week on Funko Shop. Not a lot of ad icons. Like I said, I've only been collecting for about two months, so. Anything else you guys want to see? I mean, I don't mind showing guys you guys what I have. It's kind of actually kind of fun for me. But a visitor. Oh. <laughs> so I'm 
gonna put some of these away. Since you wanted to pull them down for everybody, that's fine. Yeah, I wanted to pull them down for everybody. Why wouldn't I? And then I brought a visitor. I know you don't like the delay, but you're just going to have to get used to it. Until we get the internet fixed tomorrow. <laughs> so everybody, this is Reggie. Um, this is my first dog child. He was in the house. He was in his little, he was in his little house with his brother and his sister, and I said, oh, you know what? So you only pulled him out? You left the other two in there? Yeah, That's the other not nice of you. The other two are in the house right now. But this is my my first and greatest dog child. I was downstairs getting some water and I said, you know what? You know who needs to come say hi? This is... Alright, Avery. I will call you Avery. Love Stranger Things Forever. Avery. Funko Ned Stark likes your Deadpool collection. It's probably his favorite collection. It, it, it is my favorite collection. It's not my biggest. It used to be my biggest. My WWE collection is now my biggest uh, collection I have. So I think I have two or three complete waves and I'm working on the on the fourth right now. So, But yeah, Deadpool I've got a lot of them. It goes from here to here. So probably my favorite one. I guess maybe because they have so many different variations of them, and they all look cool, so. Yeah, no, and plus that pool's kind of awesome. His character's amazing. I know. Ryan Reynolds is the greatest. No, I kind of want the hot toy. Oh my god. Yeah, Jetta showed the Deadpool hot toy tonight, and... I'm jelly. I'm a little uh, jelly. A little but, jelly. But, but 250 bucks is a little steep. Right? I'm like, can I get one? Is there a discount? Like, is there a code? Because I need help. Help! Yeah. Help me! So, I I think these these guys right here are still my two favorites, or really kind of one maybe. Those are your two favorites. Those are brand new. Oh, you have no idea how much. I mean, I love Biggie, be. but Biggie is awesome. Biggie is awesome. These are probably two of my favorite ones. Hey, Mikey. We're just kind of hanging out, chit chatting. We're really, just below in time. Oh, the Jack Sparrow hot toy. The Jack Sparrow hot toy is legit. Yeah, that is. But I think he's like five hundred dollars, something like that. Yeah. He's expensive. He's expensive. We saw that uh, the Harley Quinn hot toy, and yeah. she was only one hundred and fifty bucks. She was only one hundred and fifty bucks, but she's kind of weird looking. I don't know. I don't like her. I don't really care for her. I like Biggie Smalls. I, I I don't know. This one just looks cool. I like this one. In the jersey with the glasses. Yes. Do you like that one better than the one with crown? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the older one that is way beyond my price range of getting, he looks cool, but I think I like the new one that's coming out for NYCC that I, the, from uh, Toy Tokyo, the one I really want. It's a mixture of these two. Yeah. He's got the crown with the sunglasses, with the cane. It's kind of a it's kind of a mixture, actually, of all three. I think it'll look, look pretty cool. Vinyl Nation? Custom Vinyl Nation? What the heck is that? I wanted to see what that is. They're giving us all these ideas of spending money. Yeah, don't oh, don't fuel the spending habits, guys. No, we appreciate it. I really do. But like I said, what was it? What was it? The, oh, the vinyls, the Mickey vinyls, the black and white ones for mm -hmm. for NYCC. So you yep. see, and you were like, "Oh, are you going to get them?" And I'm like, "No," because I'm not opening that door. Like, there's like a door, and whether or not I, I think if you were going to get the vinyls, you would get the Harry Potter one. With the with the with the bone with the bone uh, potion, that's a vinyl two pack. I might get that one anyways. Ah, uh, see, see. <sighs> then see? you. I mean, we're open the door. See. And then I'm gonna start collecting vinyls, and then it's gonna be a problem. I mean, the vinyls are okay. The dorbs are dorbs are done. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Disney used to make them. Okay. Huh. So so since Disney used to make them, that means they're gonna be really expensive. <laughs> Harley Quinn with the bat. They have a... Is that a hot toy? The Harley Quinn with the bat? Now I have to look that up. I wonder. Yes. That was the one. She okay. she had the bat. Yeah, it was the hot toy. We saw it at uh, Emerald City Comics. I don't know. I don't think it was the... 
that one. I think it was the one with the red and black outfit that I don't like. The, like, jester outfit. No, I think it was. I think it was the Suicide Squad one. Yeah, I mean, I really like Harley Quinn Suicide Squad, not Harley Quinn. I mean, I like regular Harley Quinn. Don't get me wrong. I just... Some of them look a little kind of seely. I don't know. I mean, I, I think the ones you have now, they're a mixture of non-masked and masked Harley Quinns. I mean, you've only one, two, two, four, six. You got eight, seven Harley Quinns. Yeah, it was a. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's the one we saw. Oh, I don't remember seeing this one. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive. Yeah, see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like how it like shows you an upshot. <laughs> it shows you an upshot of the uh, of the shirt, so you can see like her nipple yeah, hanging it, out. Like, yeah, it shows like, a little bit of cleavage going like, on. Why do you need to? Uh... Oh, no problem, Waver Ramon. Welcome oh, what's to the live stream. Buddy? We uh we we used your video to do a giveaway tonight. So and send you some love, man. And send you some love because we like to send love to uh, other YouTubers because that's you know that's, that's what this is well, all about. Yeah, we're we're a growing channel. We're, we want to help everyone else grow along with us, so we can all enjoy the community together. Um, I'm not here to, to down on anybody's channel. I think everybody everybody's channel is great. Everywhere from Top Pops to Jetta to Cletus to, uh, man, what's some other big ones we watch? Wasatch Pop. Wasatch Pop. I know uh, Wasatch Pop uh, has been uh, kind of on hiatus right now. Congrats on the new job, buddy, if you do see this. Um, I mean, there's a lot of big YouTubers, a lot of small YouTubers. I've watched a lot of small channels, which I really enjoy the small channels. Like I said, I watched Jetta when it was only a couple hundred of us and watched it grow. Mm -hmm. And his production value went better and better and better and better and better. And watching his live stream tonight, I was like, man. Man, his uh, his video quality is like buttery. Right? I'm, buttery. Like, I'm like, how do I make this happen in my life? Because this, this needs to be a thing. I need that. that yep. Home, home, homespun Geek I watch. Yep. Uh, Lady Funko I watch. Um, I watch, uh, man. I, I think if I go through all my subscriptions, it, it's nothing but... Funko people. Um, yeah, I know. It's, it's funny. Uh, so, Morphin, uh, Morphin Funko nerd. Yeah. Uh, U UK Funko. Yeah, I mean, like, it's... Um, we have... So we have this channel, obviously, and we both have personal YouTube accounts, obviously, also. And then, like, finally, we're like, we need to put all of our Funko-related stuff on this one, because it was, like, it was everywhere. So I'd be getting, yeah. like, two notifications at once when somebody went live or something and I'm be like yeah. okay I need to stop I can't I'm getting notifications well, I, from nerd crew and I'm getting notifications from my personal and like yeah <sighs> yeah no Robert I agree my Funko is my my feet my Facebook my Facebook is oh, no man. longer my Facebook my man. Facebook is Funko's Facebook cuz I'm in so many like Buy, Funko. sell, trade groups. Fun, Funko groups here in Orlando. We got, Funko's I think, Anonymous. How many blah, Funko blah, blah, groups blah, blah, are just blah. here in Orlando? Funko groups between Orlando and Tampa alone, I think I'm in 15 to 20 groups. Yeah. And those groups all have 2,000 to 4,000 people in them. That's how crazy Funko is here in, in Central Florida. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Uh, Jacksonville's in there. A few of them in Jacksonville. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, Daytona has a few. It's crazy. My Facebook is basically Funko Pop. Yeah, whether it be, uh, what do you guys think about some of the Facebook Live auctions they've had, pop auctions? Have you? Have any guys seen those? I was watching one of those last week, and we're talking something, I'm just going to pull random common pop. Yeah, have you guys seen these? Like, so, let me find out the name of the place. I don't know if anybody else has seen this, but they post them all the time in, like, Funko okay, Anonymous or whatever on Facebook. All right, let's just pull this guy. I know, I know this guy sold last week on that on there. So this Jack Skellington right here, he was on auction and he sold for fifty five dollars, for fifty five dollars on auction, and I was just like, wow, that's crazy, right? For fifty five dollars, and I understand you know people like auctions and they like stuff like that, but I'm just like, you know, you, you do get a little crazy with with the with the spending fifty five dollars on something that you can. I, I don't know. It right. might just be me. 
So, yeah, now I'm trying to find out the name of that place. Of course you don't like that place on Facebook. Why, why would you? It's like something robot toys. If you didn't delete my messages, then I sent you. Um, if anybody ever wants to watch it, I think they do it on um, Mr. Robot's Toys and Collectibles. And I think they do it on Tuesday nights. Um, yeah. They, If you guys ever want uh entertaining experience really just watch people like go bid on these pops and pay way over like stash price and ppg price and just people go crazy like it's it's absolutely insane i i mean i get it it's like a live auction atmosphere and you know, it's like, oh, you know, it's me, it's them, it's me, it's them. It's like, it's not like eBay where you kind of have time to, like, think about it. No, no. Like, it, it's like... It, it's literally... And then at the end of it, it's... uh, You have 15 seconds and then it sells. Uh, oh, for Papa Lucha's giveaway, I don't know who won Papa Lucha's giveaway, but who won our giveaway was Papa Lucha. Yeah, Papa Lucha won our giveaway. Um... Papa Lucha's giveaway was done by... Oh, there she is. By Nerdy Treasures. Uh, hi, hi, I'm Rofunka. What up? I actually just messaged her on on Facebook. Did you, and was did like, you hey, harass yeah. her? I did not harass her. I just saw she was on when I was looking up that link for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, Robert, you did you win? Papaluchos. Yes, and, I think Robert did win. So Papa Robert Luchos. won Papaluchos and Nerdy Treasures, and then Papalucha won ours. ours. Won our giveaway. This one. Playing with wigs. Do tell. Stories. For you or for the cats? Oh my god, are there cat wigs? Probably. <laughs> Can I get dog wigs? They make dog tattoos with the little spray things. Well, yeah, I mean, tattoos? like I want, I want to get one on the dog, but you know, you want me to get the dog a tattoo? I want a tattoo of the dog. How many wigs do you have? I need wigs. I don't have any wigs. I'm, I actually, y'all will see. I actually thought about that in my hair today. I need to do it. But yeah, so anyways, Papa Lucha won this mystery box. We bought it on eBay, fifteen dollars. Put the Tana Pop up to fifty bucks. Could be a common. Could be, you know, whatevs. But this is going to go to Papa Lucha once he sends us his... Yeah, just hit us up on Instagram yeah. and, we'll, and we'll get it over to you. Yeah, send me your, your information on Instagram. I'll print it out tonight, slap it on the box, and we'll I'll drop it off at the post office tomorrow while we're out and about. Is your Venom box coming tomorrow? Mr. I'm crazy about tracking and hasn't tracked his box. I'm really surprised. It says Friday. Friday? It said Friday last time I looked. Yesterday. Everybody I know has already gotten theirs. Uh, that's dumb. Because people are already getting theirs. On the West Coast. What? We have a fulfillment center here. Why does it matter if it's on the West Coast? Because Amazon hates me. Amazon does hate you. Someone Amazon does hate me, guys, because I literally harass them about every single thing. Because uh, we have uh, Amazon delivery service here. And it's kind of like their own uh, mail service. Yeah, they have their own drivers. They have their own drivers, kind of like Uber or something like that. And they deliver your packages and you can actually track them. And they mark when it's delivered. I'd say three of my packages have been marked as delivered and they don't show up till like the next day. I'm not kidding you. And that's even my U.S. Postal Service guy. He marks stuff as not deliverable and then I got to go pick it up. How many, how many free months of Prime have we gotten because of this? Probably a year's worth. Hi, Kent Pool. How's it going? Welcome. Oh, Kent Pool. What's going on? We got a celebrity. A celeb <laughs> celeb celebrity status. I mean, well, we we got. I watch Kent Pool too. Kent, we got Emerald Funko Pool. in here. We already had celebrity. Yeah, we do. We got we got we got Lady Funko in here. We got, we got Lady Funko. We got Christina Payne. Payne. In Man, here. I'm. I'm we got a lot of people in here. My heart is so full of love right now, guys. I, I feel I, I feel the love, guys. 
It almost makes me feel like doing another giveaway, but not that not that good. Not that much. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything to give away. Um, no, we need to start accruing some like. But the problem is, is like, what do you give away? Like, I mean, I, I guess we give away mystery boxes that we open and something that's duped or something. But no, absolutely, we need to start ordering more mystery boxes. Who has? Oh, yeah. Who's got good mystery boxes? Who has the best mystery boxes, guys? Like, I mean, I know a lot of people have good ones. Like, you've got uh, M3 Collectibles, Shy town Shy town Nerds Like Us, we've gotten one from them. We've gotten Shumi, of course. Like, I mean, it's just like, who is your guys' favorite mystery box? I, I'd, I'd say ranging up to 50 bucks. Yeah. Fifty dollars or less. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind spending fifty dollars on a mystery box, but I gotta at least get my value out of it. Right? Like, who's got the best under fifty? Shumi and Shy Town, huh? Yeah. I mean, so far we've we've gotten one from each. From Shy Town, we got a Crota. Crota. We got the Crota. We got the Target exclusive Crota, not the glow in the dark. Just a regular Crota. That one was thirty five bucks. That one, 39 was shipping. 39 was shipping. That one came out to be $29 in worth, so it was fine. I was yeah. fine with that one. Shumi's was kind of a bust for us. Shumi's was a bust. Yeah. We got a comment that we already had. We had uh, the Wasp. Yeah, the Wasp. So, I mean, with Shumi, you're really not looking for anything above the $15 range, but you're looking for the set. Yeah. You're, you're looking for the set that comes along with it. Which I think is, that's a lot of value, if you think about it. So, so say you get a good set, and later on the set's worth two, three hundred bucks for the whole set. You're like, man, I just, I, I want two, three hundred bucks. Right. So, you know. It's crazy how many people are starting, like, these small uh, Funko Pop stores, like, online. What was that one we ran across the other day? That Boss we... Babe Collectibles. Boss what? Babe Collectibles. They're out of California. They do, like... Their pops are nine dollars, and then it's three dollars shipped. So it's basically the same as if you were to buy it at like Hot Topic, and yeah. mint guarantee and everything else. Like it's it's crazy. I, like it's crazy. Ken Poole, I do love the point five uh, pop protector from Shumi. Uh, like I said, I I got the wasp in it, and I took it right out, and I think I put my Crunchberry Beast in it just because I I liked it better. So yeah, yeah, it was the, that pop protector was legit yeah i liked it i need to go in we be discussing today we need to go in with somebody and go uh, actually admiral funko we were talking about you protectors we're like we need to go in bulk with somebody on protectors and then like split the cost like yeah because i mean you can go on what is it uh, seven pops.com and get seven like, bucks a pop seven bucks a pop and then the the bulk i think it was like 100 protectors for like i think 65 bucks or something like that yeah like we all need to like Pitch in PayPal money and buy them in bulk and get them for, like, super cheap. <laughs> and then distribute them as such. Because yeah. we, we got, we got a lot with, of these. Especially with NYCC coming out. I know I'm going to want to put some of those in, in protectors. We got a lot of these dudes that need to go in protectors for sure. I, I know you want to put your Ezra in one. Yeah, well, that's a 6-inch. They have them. I know. They have them. But they, and that's the thing. You can't just buy one 6-inch. They want you to buy five for, I think, it's 20 bucks. So it's like four bucks of protector? That's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. I mean, considering these soft ones, I don't even know where mine are. But yeah, like, I think Vision right behind you has got the .35. And then Stonekeeper's got a .40. And then my Thor's got a .40. Or .45, actually. I mean, these .50s are really... I mean, they're almost, buy they're almost like buying the pop stacks, almost. Yeah, it makes pop stacks obsolete. No, I like the way they lay flat on both sides. Because some of the protectors, I know everybody had this uh, this problem. When you put them on shelves, I don't know if Vision's actually on a good one. Uh, how both sides are kind of rounded yeah. rounded on both sides. It's kind of annoying when you try to stack them. So. Point eight. Wow, really? That's, uh, that's legit. They're protected for like, yeah. Yeah, Funko Pops and Unicorns, you can get 30 for $25, but they're only the th the .30s. They're not, they're not real heavy duty. Um, and when you want to stack them like we do on these uh, picture ledges, um, I want them to actually sit flat. And some of them don't sit flat. They actually kind of... Bow out. They bow out and rise. Yeah, just I'm trying to find them. one. No, this is... You know, That's a good one. No, no, there's a .45. 
Oh, this is the one from Seven Bucks Pop. This has got that little thingy on it. The yeah. Pop Shield. Yeah, it's got the Pop, pop Shield, shield brand. I love this guy, by the way. This guy's awesome. After the point of it's his bulletproof material. <laughs> yeah, right. If we still lived in New Orleans, we would probably need bulletproof pop protectors. No, but thankfully, don't. we don't live in New Orleans anymore. No, you don't. So. It's not that bad. Lady Funko, you have not checked out Shumi yet? Oh, my goodness. Really? Yeah, no, he's got a great shop. Uh, mint guarantee, always ships and pop Ooh, protectors. And tonight he's got 20% off. Yeah, 20% off tonight if you go and find a code that I'm not allowed to give you that was in Jetta's live stream earlier because apparently I will be uh, ousted and roasted on a spit if I give away the code. But there's a code in the live stream. You could probably just... You can probably just reach out to... Uh, message somebody. You can probably message Jetta. Or message anybody that watched the live stream. And they, or you can I, message me later and I'll give it to you on the low. Because you said, you said, you said if, you, if you DM people, I can't get you in trouble for it. But if you comment with it or... But yes, there away. is a code to get 20% off at Shumi Store tonight. And it also gets you entry into the big starting of the October... Uh, giveaway fest, whatever. The... To, to win a, uh, a Groot Hot Toy. Groot Hot Toy. Yeah, so that, that's my only problem with that. And my biggest problem is the three packs. How they have different size three packs for the protectors. You have to buy like the three pack protector that goes with that specific pop, and that's really agitating. Yeah, because because I'm trying to find ones for my snap, crackle, and pop. And then we have the new day, but those aren't the same size, so. Right. I need to get the other new day set. By the way, I need to find the Toys R Us ones. The Groot is I am Groot. Absolutely. Yes. Groot's my favorite. I want a Groot tattoo. Can I get a Groot tattoo? Yes, you can get a Groot tattoo. If that's what you really want. Can I get the Groot and Steve Rogers? Can I get the scene? I am Groot. That needs to be a pop scene. That needs to be a pop scene. I am Groot. But it, but it needs to talk. I am Groot. I am Steve Rogers. <laughs> that 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 has to be... Come on. Come on, Funko. You gotta make that happen. Because you make them light up. Now you can make them talk. Come on. Just, just pay for it. I, I, I will, I will give you fifty bucks for that one. I'm, I'm Steve Rogers. Yes, I'll give you fifty bucks for that, for that movie moment right now. Yes. I've got no problem with that. Fifty bucks, I'll give it to you. I, 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 I kind of, I kind of wish they would have done it with the new Loki one, with, with the Hulk, and just make him go. Uh, that was funny. Oh, puny god! Like yeah, puny god! You are a puny god. That'd be funny. Oh, I watched this thing the other day about the Avengers cast, like, doing uh, trivia on the movie, and, like, none of them knew anything about the movie, so it was hilarious. It's gotta have a motion sensor. Yes, yes, that, that'd be cool, too. Have yeah. a motion sensor to it. I am Groot. I so I'm Steve Rogers. Rogers. This is my friend, Tree. I am Groot. I am Steve, Steve Rogers. Rogers. <laughs> I am Steve Rogers. I, I actually watched that scene, like, back, I'd say, three or four times on the, on the Blu-ray, just because it makes me laugh. That and then when Star Lord goes into the thing and like flips off Thanos on the on the way into the boom yeah boom oops sorry <laughs> oops, sorry uh, I didn't drop the f bomb at least not yet it's gonna happen at some point in our lives <laughs> I am Steve Rogers I am Steve Rogers um but yeah I think that might be it for tonight guys yes we, guys we've been yeah we've been on here for it's been whoa, way too an hour and a, almost, almost two hours guys we've been rambling we've just been rambling like well i mean we got 12 people in here just chit chatting hanging out with us i mean like we just you know this is this is our lives we like hanging out with you guys it's a lot of fun it is a lot of fun but tomorrow i gotta get up and go actually gotta wait for the cable guy to come here to fix our internet so we can do more live streams because right now we're actually live streaming through a uh, through a cell phone and then looking at the uh, stream on the computer, and it's it's about 15 seconds behind, so it's really kind of weirding me out, actually. Uh, hit that bell, Admiral Funko, and maybe you get some notifications. Like I said, if you haven't already, like, like share, share, and subscribe, subscribe and hit, hit the, the bell. bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Ring my bell. I, I, I know I, I know the notifications did happen because I got them on my own phone that I that I went live. <laughs> well, we know you're silly. That's a whole other conversation for another day for another joint live stream. We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll take care of that at other points in times about the silliness that is our lives. But yeah, no, Catpool 
Christina Payne, mm. Lady Funko, Admiral Funko, everybody else who is still here, Lady or Funko Pops and Unicorns. Unicorns. All you guys, we love you. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate all the love and support. If you guys haven't already, mm. we love the subscribies. Um, we also love watching all of your guys' content. So keep putting out good stuff and we'll keep watching. All right, Papa Lucci. Have a good night, buddy. Papa Lucci, we'll get that boxing out to you tomorrow. We can't wait to watch you unbox it. All right, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Oh, I got to go turn off the thing on here. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>